Hey, behind the scenes, we got a little bit of an ice storm last night. Yeah. It'd be a perfect day to be in the shop, but yeah. uh, we're gonna go on a little road trip. A little, little shopping Sounds spree. Sounds good. I get to stay in a warm truck, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, we got to head north. We uh, bought some spare parts for Bubba Dump. We're gonna go pick up, and uh, we're gonna go visit our old buddy at Clint at CNC Equipment. I think he's got a new seat. Yeah. Gonna upgrade the seat in the old 850, and uh, possibly maybe an accessory he has built for us for a little really? tile plow. But first things first, we got to get the seat out of it. He said all you need is two pry bars. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how <laughs> we'll see we'll see how this goes. At least it stayed inside the. Uh, Shed where it's nice and it's not warm in here, but at least it's dry. Let's see if we're smart enough to get this thing out of here. Hey, that part popped off. I think we can get it off. Question is, can we get it back on? Question is, we're gonna wait for a warmer day to put it back on. <laughs> well, how do you get that off around that? Did I come up out of there? It does. Look at that. Piece one. All right. Well. I got it that far. Now what? It's gotta come out of there somehow. Oh, there we go. Let's see it down there. Hey, look at that. All right, piece, piece number two. two. That don't look very comfortable at all. I guess there's yeah, we'll get to those later to get new ones in. All right. I think the rest of our day will go this easy. Oh, I hope. Oh, look, oh, look at that. Huh. That bottom one speaks my language. It was really easy to come off. $500 to remove the seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Perfect. All right. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to get the trailer hooked up and uh, yep. get the road. We got everything loaded up we needed. I got the trailer. We may have to put this thing in full wheel drive just to get out of the parking lot. <laughs> Come on, baby. There we go. All right. We're rolling now. All right, we got chains, straps. We got the seat. We got addresses. We got me. <laughs> I don't, did you raise the uh, jack up? I feel like we're driving. That's why we had to put the full wheel drive there, little buddy. <laughs> one job. You had one job this morning. One job. <laughs> oh. I just had it out oh, there for you. Had it out. Everything was pro solid. <laughs> I bet you I'd probably put it in two wheel drive now. Yeah, you probably get a two wheel drive now. <laughs> this is, uh, you remember? You remember that one time about two years ago? We had to replace the jack on that trailer because somebody drug it across the parking lot and bent it. And you said, what kind of moron does that? And it was you. <laughs> but it didn't bend this time. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky. Uh, 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 all right, now that we have everything. Now we're good. We are on the road. First stop. Is, I don't know the name of it, but it's in Bedford, Indiana. Advantage Auto Parts? No, it's not Auto Parts. Truck Parts? Used Parts? It's, it's well, just stay tuned. Hopefully they got it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> We're off. Well, man, behind the scenes, I think we've almost made it according to the uh, jeepest. <laughs> we are uh, two miles away, or two tenths of a mile away from, yeah. from junk heaven. Yep. From the destination. 
location is on the left. Just got to make sure we got everything we, uh, oh, there it is. You'll see the there parts, my friend. Yeah. We could spend all day here walking around looking at random stuff. Yeah. Better hit the brakes and turn in there and hope that's not ice. Yeah, no kid. Oh, yes. Uh, all kinds of parts out here. You got an old train locomotive over there. Yeah. Well, I guess let's go see if we can find our parts. The destination yep. is on your left. All right, guys, forgive me. It's a little bit cold. We are at Advantage Salvage Parts, basically. In uh, Bedford, they got two different yards, but these guys kind of uh, specialize in a lot of Volvo stuff. A lot of dismantled machines around here. This one, that one there's definitely got a little bit on the uh, toasty side at uh, one point. But as you guys can see, it got a nice little stack of uh, tires here. There's another 24. He basically just told me to go around here and see what we can find. I'm trying to see if that one's got the ram in it without busting my butt. It does. Yeah. A30C right there, baby. That's uh, one of about three we got to choose from, so. Got an old Euclid bed. Couple of Volvo, Volvo loaders. Like that one had a pretty good little engine fire on it as well. Couple of drag line buckets over there. Man, spend all day walking around a place like this. This is almost better than the auctions. That's, <laughs> that is the remnants of an A30C. It has definitely seen, definitely seen some better days. It's missing some few parts, including the majority of the go-go. A30C here, this one's got a good set of matching tires all the way around it, but they're not radial tires. They are uh, bi-supply tires, which would work, but as much as what we rode the truck, they would get a little, uh, they'd get a little rough, so. Rims. We got all kinds of good stuff around here. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get rid of some more. <laughs> So what, what in the world is this thing, Tim? I have no idea, that's not mine. What's your guess? I don't know. Looks like it's got some... I'm sure somebody in the comment section, somebody in the comment section will let us know. Well, it's gotta be... John, he can tell us. It's gotta be some sort of... Uh, like a road, like an asphalt? Well, I was thinking the uh, ground stabilization, soil stabilization type deal. Could be. But man, that thing is wide. Yeah, it is. That is crazy. So you guys mostly specialize in Volvo, you said? Mm -hmm. What's the best way to find you on the internet? Internet, or you can call the office. Call the office? Yeah. You guys got two different locations. This is the smaller yard of the two? This is, a, this is our main yard, and then we have a warehouse where we store all the parts. New uh, just rebuilt components. Well, the good news is they had everything we needed for Obama yeah. Dump. So. I'm thinking maybe we should have looked a little harder to see what else we needed. <laughs> that's the <laughs> problem. Run a bigger trailer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Spent too much time around here. We'll be back with the low boy. <laughs> Let me have that. Let me have that checkbook. All right. Well, I think he's down sucking a tire up there for us. Let's go check it out. Maybe we'll poke around a little more. Okay. Two things. We found us a good tire right there. Yep. And this is the rest of the story that goes with that. Yep found out what it is so it's a concrete paver so basically if you guys see down the roads i think they haul the concrete in on like uh triaxles or tandem axle trucks they dump it out and the big auger takes it left and right and it runs off a string line and lays it out i knew that i just wanted to see if yeah. you knew oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i see you yeah. <laughs> i'm sure we probably already got like 50 comments about what it was but yeah, yeah. That looks almost too new to be here in the scrapyard. Yeah, wrong disc. You can get some weight on it. I might be able to get out. Get out, yeah. That's a flawless plan, my friends. Be careful, it's got ice on it. Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah. We're going places. We never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, man, behind the scenes, our trailer is an ice skating rink. It almost looks like you had it for us. <laughs> I think we did. Your theory of the uh, salt on the road got a. Uh, yeah, it didn't work out too well. Right. Let's go right in the front. Dang, your whole 500 pound of ice. Ready to back up a little? I'll back up just to shade. I think I'll work right there. Perfect. Thank you, sir. This looks like uh, your department here, sir. What are them? I don't know what kind of vessels. That's what I'm trying to figure out what kind of vessels they are. I think they need your assistance on this one. It's got a, it's got a hole in it. It's got a really cool echo. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is my kind of place. Look at all Did these. You fill your confined space permit out before you stuck your head. No, in? I just stuck them in. I didn't stick. See? Uh oh. You gotta ask them if they filled out their confined. <laughs> But this is my kind of place, man. Yeah. Owner is absolutely awesome. Got pieces and parts everywhere. I can walk around here up. I can walk around here all day long. Oh. Yeah. This is gonna get us in trouble. It's a good thing we come yeah. with a small trailer. Yeah. I feel like we'd be going home with a lot more, a lot more than what we need to. There is no doubt if you need parts for a C or D series Volvo haul truck, this is the place to come. They have got cabs and rears sitting everywhere. Everywhere. I had no idea this place was here. It's just up the road. There's a new yeah. floor mat up there. Yeah. There's more tires. Some buckets. Service truck. Got more I beams. What do you say? Every every piece of steel in here is thirty cents a pound. Yep. There's some bargains in here, especially if you come yeah, in here and bought quantity. Look at all that angle. Oh Look man. Angle. Stop shopping. I like. We it. got limited space, buddy. Get that. We have got limited space. Some buckets. No fork trucks. No hole truck. That's a crazy old side boom. Yeah. Isn't there a haul truck right here? Yeah. I think next time we make a list for the truck, we just need to come straight here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. As much as I'd love to shop around here all day, we have got to get to the road. We've got to make the next stop. I just can't stop looking. Do we need to go ahead and do it now and just go ahead and buy all his mirrors he's got? <laughs> that way, if you break one on every job we go on, look, there's one right there. It is the right mirror. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the one we couldn't find anywhere. I know. And he's got them everywhere up here. All it takes is one wrench, and we can start taking them off. You might be on to something there, little buddy. Yeah. All right. We gotta get going. We gotta get rolling. We got people to see. We got people to see. Man, behind the scenes, that was a that was a good stop. Yes, I can't was. believe I didn't know this place wasn't here sooner. And like I said, if you're looking for Volvo parts, loaders, haul trucks, excavators, yeah, this guy has got them. So it'll ship anywhere in the country and overseas. I'll try to post a link to his stuff in the description, but that is uh, that's where we're at right there. I'm giving him straight up free advertising because he treated us yeah very 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 well. No complaints whatsoever. All right, we are back on the road. We are heading about another hour north to see our old buddy Clint at CNC Equipment. Oh yeah. The question is, where are we eating lunch at between here and there? I don't know, we gotta find somewhere. Stay tuned now. Yeah. <laughs> man behind the scenes, we have made it to we CNC Equipment. I'm not for sure if this new 850 is gonna fit on a trailer. I think we brought their own truck. Own trailer, <laughs> yeah. I, I bet we can try. If we can get it on the trailer, I think the old Chevy will pull her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's not what we come after. Around here somewhere is something we come after. So let's go find Clint and the boys and so. see what we're up to. Find, and yeah. on the scenes.
Oh, sorry. Look at him. He's off the, the scenes right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might have some competition in the welding department. I know. They looking for a job? <laughs> I, I want to feel like him. I want to boss somebody around. <laughs> I think he might be taller than you. So I know. He might put me in line. <laughs> Trust me, I don't stop him. I don't stop him. I can so. imagine. All right. So, Clint and the, uh, I guess, literally your boys. Yeah, all four of us worked on it, so it's going to cost you. Oh, cool. all right. So he was he was uh, with Tucker and I was with Hunter. We got to keep everybody separated, see? You get the two boys together. Like two feral cats. So just don't want them close <laughs> Me by. and him are supervisors, basically. Yeah. Oh, so, Hunter, so, Hunter yeah. was cutting out parts on the plasma table and Tucker's welding. So. Well, it looks good. So basically what these guys have built, this is going to be a weight that will sit on the front of the 850J when we go to plow tile, which will hopefully help us maintain traction and grade and all that good stuff. This was built out of a side boom come off a 700j side boom pipe layer so that's a counterweight that counterbalances the the boom on the other side so and uh your your guesstimation is about 5200 pounds 5200 yeah we weighed it so and you guys got a full video on your channel we do which yours will probably be out before mine so i'll link it down below yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm starting to get like you so oh, oh, oh. but it works better on our end though right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people don't understand the, the most disturbing part of the video clips i've seen of this being built is i heard we got an impersonator around here yeah. <laughs> you, you have to go check out my video <laughs> no it's quiet he's quiet now i don't know what he's talking about i sent a little clip to him <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, we seen Can the clip. Say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we well, played it a couple we times. We couldn't even find a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't even find one. So if you guys want to see what we're talking about, go check out uh, check yeah. out Clint's video. But, man, you guys seen as all of our shop projects going on. We didn't have time to tackle this one. Seen Clint in an auction down there in Louisville. We got brainstorming a little bit. He's like, I got something I think will work. Just perfect, and I think it will. I think it will, too. The only thing we got to do now is get her loaded on the trailer. Yeah. And the flag, man, the flag's an awesome touch. And it serves a purpose. It's kind of look cool with the, the engine fan blowing it straight out the front when you're trucking. It'll yes, look it good. Will. It's going to make for some good pictures. Yeah. I'm excited. All right, well, let's load her up. He scratches the paint. You think we get a discount? Yeah, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Well, we'll work on the net discount on the next project we want to get from you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's... Oh, my paint. My paint. <laughs> Who just... All right, that discount, we got yeah. it for the next project. Well, what we were just talking about, if he scratches the paint, we get a discount on the next project. <laughs> we gave you two of the paint. <laughs> hey, can we, can we find a good smooth spot to do this? <laughs> I just wanted to test your skills there, bud. I think that's about all the little Ford truck wants there, bud. <laughs> I think that's probably good. I think it'll be fine. We'll get a couple chains up and around it. All right. Is this the beginning of dry climb wars? <laughs> I keep getting that. Who's got the we're, bigger stick? We're, <laughs> we're waiting on Chris to get one now. Let's dig. We're going to have to get on him in Florida. Yeah, Matt's been on him. Diesel Creek's been on him pretty good too. So, you know what? They're, they're contagious because once you buy one, then people send you a whole bunch of links of a whole bunch of its <laughs> brothers and sisters exactly. and cousins right. and, and all of its friends that are sitting in the woods somewhere. But. Hey, if you need an extra track pad, I got one. Oh, there, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. That one's, uh, that one's obsolete nowadays. Yeah, we're shortening stuff up. So. No, I was, uh, I was eyeballing this thing here a little bit. This is, uh, so this is a yard and a quarter. Yard and a quarter. It's uh, yeah. Northwest 41. And mine is, uh, I think it's three quarters yard. Yeah. I, I think your dad educated me on this. It's a three quarter yard bucket that's got five eighths welded on it for union oil reasons. Yeah, anything I think above. Uh, three quarters and up, you had to have an oiler, right. so they'd put five eighths on. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 
You're just gonna have to have your dad hanging on the side the whole time telling yeah, you everything yeah. you're doing wrong. But one thing I noticed is his will fit all the way in the shop with the doors closed. Well, what so you're trying to say is we need a smaller one. Mine will fit in my shop without the <laughs> boom on it. Well, I'm seeing two open bays here. I think we just pull uh, yours in. Oh the other bay. yeah, and then I bet if we leave it here and he gets mad and he's like, "Well, I'll just fix it to get it out of my shop." Well, I'm about over it already. <laughs> Now, have you figured out where to plug the computer in yet? No. That's the nice thing about it. You just need about two inches and a hammer and you're good. You're good. Yeah, and a few Simpler muscles. Times back then. Yeah, muscles. Is well, there going to be some uh, videos of this coming on your channel? You got a whole playlist on it, so. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, you're, gonna, you're invested. Yeah. Yeah. You're invested. There's a lot of work to do on it. So. Oh. We spent half a day shortening one track up. So. I need to get working on mine. Uh, supposedly, all mine needs is cables and put together. But, uh, yeah, this one needs a I just, And I need time. That's hard to do. We got two or three days here, then we're going to get busy again, so. Well, it's going to be a cool cool project. Definitely going to be fun, fun watching, so. Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. The drag line saga continues. <laughs> well, man, behind oh. the scenes, that was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. Been alive, visited with the boys. Got, uh, got our weight loaded up. And uh, now it's time we are officially heading back to the big old metropolis of Derby. Yes, we are. I guess we're gonna have to install a tire and unhook a weight. Yeah. <laughs> or unload a weight. We have survived a road trip. Yes, we have. We are back. It's actually a couple days later. It's a little bit warmer, which yeah, is, it is which is nice. But <laughs> I guess uh, we've already got the tire unloaded. You want to get the weight unloaded, and I guess yep. we'll head back up shop and put the tire on. Yep. That's the plan. All right. I guess. Uh, we might as well put it on the dozer, right? Yeah. Just, just to, make just to make, make, make sure everything's good. Yeah. Let's get her. We gotta fire the dozer up and see if it yeah. picks it up, right? I mean, I know Clint has tested this, but uh, we gotta try it for ourselves. Yep. All right, see if it works. See if she does it. I got a feeling that thing is way heavier than what it looks. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot yeah. to make the old loader grunt, and she yeah. felt her out there. So, all right, let's see what happens. All right. gonna work. Alright. Looks good on there. 
<laughs> yeah, they put the flag on it, which rightfully so. It's a little hard to see from the cab, but yeah, you can definitely tell when you pick it up. You can you? <laughs> right, we got to get the seat cushion back in. Yeah, there. yeah. How was that seat? It, it, it's not good. <laughs> uh, stay tuned. We had to pick up some new Christmas trees. Yep. All right, let's go put a tire on. All right. I feel like this is like the twelfth time in this video I've said good morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's getting that way. We, we do a little bit as we came in again. All right. We've uh, bled, on, bled over into another day, if you guys haven't noticed. We got a little sidetracked mm -hmm. last night. But all right, we got our box of uh, goodies from the guys up there at Advantage Parts. That was a cool place. Yeah. I don't like in the video world. It was a couple clips ago, but in real life world, it was like a week ago. We had a lot wow. of fun up there. Good yeah. group of guys. They're, these are my kind of people. Yes. Yeah. Because, like, we almost got to him and the other guy that were yeah. up there were great. Oh, my goodness. The I only know. thing is, is I think you should have made a better list before we went up there because there is still some stuff that we should have got. I didn't know they had all the stuff. <laughs> After going up there, they had everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty Even sure. mirrors. I know. Probably could have saved a little money. All right. So, we got uh, some diaphragms for our leaky lockers. We got some new vents for in the cab. Uh, we got the door thingies for in the door. And what else did I get? Oh, I got a few of these for spares just because they always seem to be an issue. And uh, we got the tire. Yep. So you want to do the old divide and conquer method? Yeah, I think so. What are you after? I'm taking a cab. Taking a cab? I'm going to put some locker pieces, parts in. All right. We are off. So we're just going to ignore him for a little bit. But we got this old diaphragm out. I know the lighting's not the best here, but it is... Uh, pretty rough stiff and chewed up and this lip right here has got a few nicks out of it if you look at this one here it's all nice and pretty so all that does is sits down in this little cavity right here and then whenever you hit the air it shoves that piston down right to there so let's put this one in hopefully that fixes all of our problems Look at that, you got one of them in there. Oh yeah, yeah. That went a lot easier than I thought it was gonna go. Yeah, it only took 42 minutes. Are you done? <clears throat> I had to go, uh, I had to uh, get tools. Uh, oh, well I had to get tools too. <laughs> yeah, all those tools I got for you. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's amazing how much, just that little vent makes that door look so different. Yeah. It's, it's it, the little things. Hey. In any of the videos, did you show them the multi, uh, what would you call the uh, the boot cleaner, the step, the handle oh, all in one? Oh no, so this was, yeah. this was an addition we put on after we got done with the steps. So we got a handle right here to get up in the cab, which is super handy. This is a boot cleaner. It also doubles as a step where you can jump up and look in the bed. You may get a mouthful of exhaust doing it, but. I will, you won't. <laughs> yeah, it'll be about it, yeah. We whipped that up real quick one night and kind of welded it on there on a whim, but uh, it works pretty good, don't it? Yeah, it does. Forgot about that. All right, I'm back to work. Yeah, chop, chop. That one is all back together, fingers crossed. No leaks, we'll find out here in a little bit. Aaron's still on the struggle bus with this little bin up there. Sometimes I like listening to you because you got good ideas. Sometimes they're not so good. Actually, all my ideas are good. It's just whether or not you choose to follow all the instructions. I did follow all your instructions. And the first one I did my way went great. Second one I did your way, not so great. <laughs> Had it in, it's not sealing off right. Too much soap water. It's, uh, what is today? Tuesday? It's Tuesday. Yeah, it's not Monday. Yeah, it's not Monday. It is a Monday. <laughs> first one went great, like a Friday. I don't, uh, I don't think I recorded the first one because there would have been too many beeps involved. So I don't no. Know. <laughs> no, first one, you didn't hear a word like a mouse over here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep a straight face there, little buddy. <laughs> All right, the next one I need to do is the one on this front axle. It is not near as user friendly to get to, so you're not gonna get much video on that one. I'm gonna get that second diaphragm in there. We'll put some air on this truck and uh, see if they leak. 
All right, we got air on the truck. You, uh, you ready up there? I'm ready to you are. All right, we don't need no whistling noises. Go for it. Oh. That is so much better. I hear air. No, I'm just kidding. So full of crap. I don't believe you for a minute. Hey, if I've learned one thing working with you over the last six or seven years, I would find anybody better to work with. No, it, I have way better ears and eyes than you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's for that's for a fact. What are you doing to my door? Well, I had an idea. It was gonna be a great idea. I'll say we just put one of them uh, Dirt Perfect stickers right there. And I thought, ah, decals, they come off pretty easy. You know, we just didn't- Not yeah, Volvo not decals. <laughs> no, it's as bad as their primer. I got some, I got some bad stuff. So like the sticker is off, but it's like that bottom, it just won't come off. And the letters- They come right off. They right? come right off That's with weird. paint. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, uh, they scrape. Well, you want me to get a big decal them. and see how much of your mess we can cover up now? Um, yeah, it might not be a bad idea. And with my artistic skills I got, if it don't cover it up, I can make some design okay. around it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even asking any further questions. We gonna fit? Well, I got some ideas on it. Oh boy. This is where your artistic ability comes in? Yeah, a little bit. So I'm having a problem getting it to fit in here. Oh, we'll just cut the YouTube part off. We don't need it. Or we could do something else. We like this go anti dirt perfect. <laughs> look, look how much better it fits in there. <laughs> We've already got. Should we have them vote on it? <laughs> so everybody's always mad at me now because the letters in the grill up here that are the dark green that you guys can barely see. I did that on purpose so you guys will comment because comments help the channel out. So I guess we can continue the theme and put the. Put the logo upside down. So, okay, let's leave it up there. I know it's gonna be like three, four months from now. So we can go ahead and put this one on like this and make it work. And then if they want it upside down, we'll put it on upside it down. I'm upside not against down. it, I like it upside down. I mean, I know what they're gonna say. They're gonna say the one a man behind the scenes sticker here, but uh, they're on back order again. <laughs> <laughs> AKA don't exist. Yeah. All right, YouTube's gonna get a trim. All right. All right, don't screw it up. It's the last sticker I got. All right. Tell me where you want it. Come to your left a little more. I think your left hand needs to go up. I don't think so. All right, well, whatever it's wrong, don't get mad at me. It's way off. The left hand needs to go way up. I'm looking at the door. You are so far off. Oh, way it's starting up. to shake. All yeah, right, shake what? All the time. Sonny, go left. Up, left hand up. Left hand, right, oh, right, maybe down this is the shade, right there. Oh, I gotta go down a little bit. So, let me get this right here, okay? Now, does that look right? Up a little bit. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. Don't worry. Look, see, you listen to me and it looks so much better. My, uh, uh, no, I was going off the bottom and you kept, oh, up, up, go up with the left side. Left side's got to go up. Camera don't lie. Hey, it's not very often I'd say it's not, I wasn't tall enough to get a clear view. <laughs> <laughs> all right, clean all my greasy finger marks off and all right. we're good to go. I think the last thing we need to do is put a tire on this thing. Oh, you ain't done that yet? I got everything else done for you. Well, I was taking my time up here. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed, that's why I come to help. <laughs> All right. All right, I don't know how well we explained this. Maybe, maybe we did, maybe we didn't. I don't remember, it's been a few days. Yeah. So, <clears throat> basically what I've been wanting to do is have a spare tire for this truck. So if we're out on a job, tire blows out, tire goes flat, we can quickly just zip one off, zip one on, and keep on mm -hmm. going, right? This tire here actually holds a hair better than some of the other tires on the truck. And as you guys can see, it is pretty wore. It's pretty slick. It's the slickest tire we got. Actually, all the other tires are in really good shape except for this one. Yeah. So that's where this guy comes into play. We snagged this one up here 
And I wanted to use tire and rim, so basically we're gonna bolt that tire and rim on the truck. As you can tell, it's got a lot better tread on it and a little better flotation, so that'll work good. We're gonna take this one, set it off to the side somewhere, so if we ever need it in a bind one day, yeah. we can go get it. That's simple, right? Works perfect. All right, last time me and Matt did this, we just used the old uh, truss hook there and took the crane and took them on and off. So you may end up handling that thing? I've seen one before. Oh! You, you haven't done any <laughs> manual labor yet. You're going the right way. I did do a lot of manual labor up there. You don't realize how hard that was to get that sticker off. <laughs> Buddy, they're tight. Yeah. This is where I love to have a Milwaukee one inch just to see how it compares. All right, buzz them off. We'll switch them back. Lug nuts off. You ready for our sophisticated tire removal system here? <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to see this. I don't, I don't think you have much faith in this. Well, I mean, I wasn't, I never seen this being used. I mean, on me it. and Matt took half the tires in this truck. I didn't build off. that to lift heavy tires. Like trusses is what that was built for. It's the same. You same really baby. trust my welds, huh? Well, it's all I got. <laughs> it's all I got. All right. Question is. Oh, yeah. See, it's a multi purpose tool. Yeah. <laughs> Too much, I think. I mean, it's it's coming. Pretty impressed. This is where it gets a little sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was just for show. Yeah. Now, I like that hook up a little better. We had a little problem with the hook's kind of in the way. <laughs> I could have cut some stuff out of the way to make it work like that. <laughs> Got your impact going right way? Yep, I done switched it over. <laughs> Look how proud you are of yourself. I am. All right, let her eat there, Jim. <laughs> really, the last time that tire was actually on a truck. Oh, well. <laughs> we just, a we hope it takes air and holds it now. Yeah. There she goes up on there.
All right, man, behind the scenes. Tire is on, it is inflated. Got one small little weeper that showed yeah. up, but we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully it'll take care of itself. I don't think it's any worse than the other tires on the truck. Yeah, you, you gotta love that soap water. Yeah, it don't it don't lie to you. So update on the other side, the back tire has, is holding. Uh, the front tire on the other side did leak back down, but we only drove it to, out in the driveway and back. So we really haven't got her swooshed around in there a, lot, a whole lot. So hopefully if that side works, if those start holding there and this one starts leaking down, we'll throw a little liquid tube in and go. If not, we're probably gonna switch out those uh, O-rings on the uh, on the rim. But got our bins in, got our sticker on. All the knickknacks in the cab fixed. Cab smells good. Cab smells horrific. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think she's done for good. Yep. She's ready to go work. Let's, uh, let's load this tire back of that truck we'll uh, drive it to the lot yep. get the seat in the 850j yep and call this one a wrap sounds good and we'll load her up that's good <laughs> it's not that you're too short, it's that the tire's too big. This thing just slides out and don't bounce out. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, well, that was nice. <laughs> it almost stayed up. <laughs> You're good. Get out of here. Perfect. <laughs> this is why we're going to hire out the interior work at Old Lieutenant Dan. Oh, but look at this. This is the factory keeper <laughs> to hold the lumbar support on. I'm not hey, making this that up. That is more kind of engineering. Yeah, there, I got so two I of them. Like it. So this nail, that's what I'm gonna call it, goes right through here. I don't know if I can do this and hold it at the same time. Hold on. Oh, I got it close. You got the camera? Yep, I got the camera. Goes right in there. Like so. Just said you can't hold them all together with a nail. Now, the problem right. is I may or may not have bent the, uh, yeah, it's right there. Where's, where's the uh, pliers that you gave me? 
uh, right here. I never gave you a pair of pliers. I gave you needle nose. Do you, do you know how this is the biggest you got? Oh, I got piano locks. Now we're getting somewhere. We're gonna give her a little low uh, tweaky tweaky. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, that, that's going nowhere. Yeah, that'll right. work. Now, I need some. Oh. <laughs> that's what you get. I didn't know they were all nam too. All right, give me some Christmas trees. All right, how many you want? Four. Start you with two and I'll grab you two more out of there here in a second. I'm going in. Don't bust through home. Did you get the right size Christmas trees? I don't think you did. You said they were right. There's no way they were right. Oh, oh they'll go into there. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh, struggles weren't real here. Uh, Gosh dang, that thing's whole now, folks. Told you they were the right ones. Well, you know what may help if I put them in the right, right hole? hole? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one help. Let's do their hole it. Hmm. Oh, there's two. Hey. Good. Hey, right, at the bottom. Oh, all right. Where's uh, where's Kevin at when you need him? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that just snaps onto there. Better hope you're right. It's gonna be much more comfortable. <laughs> oh, there's that one. Uh, I think they go in that. I'll agree with that. Yeah, but I think the tab has been watered out. This is a different seat bottom. Yeah. I think this is where Kevin said we may have to put a screw in it. Oh. Remember him saying that? Because I can feel them go down in there. There's that one. See? You just need to get a self tap or run up, run the up through there. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. Um, sure. Just a little more. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have put me in the seat. <laughs> All right. All right. Now the next step. Headrest. It's gonna be a nice little random improvement for the machine. Yep. Hey, the main thing is, keeps Jerry happy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's close the door on this one. <laughs> Way behind the scenes, I believe that's gonna be an official wrap yep. on this project. We've uh, we accomplished a lot in this little video. Yeah, yeah. We got a new seat in there, a little road trip. We found the honey hole for used Volvo yeah. parts. That was the best part of this whole trip. That was, that Those was. Those guys are absolutely awesome up there. Got a new seating, got a new tire on. For too much longer, we're gonna have, we're gonna run out of stuff to work on. We're gonna have to be back to moving dirt. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give a big old thumbs up. I wanna make sure you don't miss out on what's coming up next. If you haven't yet, I'd consider subscribing. That way we can catch you on the next one. Later. Done by. See you guys.